Hello friends, welcome to N Universe Double Two. In this video, we have a, we will discuss about ice refrigeration. This is a, another refrigeration method. So for uh, several years, melting ice has been used successfully as a refrigerant. Not too many years ago, ice was the only cooling agent available for use in domestic and uh, small commercial refrigerations. So as we can see in the diagram, we have these. Uh, this is the insulated body, and this is the pan in which ice is held. and this is the drainage for and this is the refrigerated space so in this refrigerator the heat entering the refrigerated space from all the various sources reaches the melting ice primarily by convection current set up in the air of refrigerated convection space and the air in contact with the warm produ uh, product and wall of the space is heated by heat conducted to it from this material and as the air is warmed it expands and rises to the top of the space carrying the heat with it to its ice compartment so as we can see when the air is moving from top to bottom its temperature is lower at the top when it is moving down its temperature is going in increasing by absorbing the heat and after absorbing the heat it gets it becomes light uh, it becomes light and it moves up so by absorbing the heat it becomes warm and warm air is light as compared to cold air so it is moving and temperature difference we can see at the beginning it is 4.4 then 5.6 6.6 7.6 8.6 and at the last it is 10 degree celsius so this is the temperature variation we can see in the ice refrigeration and at the beginning it is the cold air and by absorbing the heat it becomes hot and the becomes hot it moves up and uh, this is the proportion and drainage for the ice melt so here in passing over the ice air is cooled as heat is conducted from the air to the ice on on cooling air becomes more dense and falls back into the storage space where upon it absorb more heat and the cycle continues the air act as a heat transfer agent in carrying the heat from the walls and stored product to the melting ice and in order that there may be adequate air circulation within refrigerated space and the ice should be located near the top of the refrigerator and proper waffling should be installed to provide direct and un unrestricted paths of air flow and to collect water which result from the melting a drip pan must be located beneath the ice and ice entails certain disadvantages which uh, tend to limit its usefulness as a refrigerant with ice it is not possible to obtain low temperature required in the many refrigeration applications ordinary 0 degree celsius is the minimum temperature obtainable through the melting of ice alone in some cases the inlet temperature of ice can be lower to approximate minus 18 degree celsius by adding sodium chloride or calcium chloride to produce a freezing mix mixture and another one there is necessity for frequently replenishing the supply a practice which is neither convenient or nor economical another difficulty a difficulty is experienced in controlling the rate of the refrigeration which in turn makes it difficult to maintain the desired low temperature level within the refrigerated space and fresh vegetable fish and poultry are often packed and shipped in the cracked ice to prevent dehydration and to preserve the appearance and ice has tremendous eye appeal and can be used to considerable advantage in the displaying the and serving of certain food such as salad cocktail etc and in chilling beverages so friends in this video we have learned about ice refrigeration if you like this video share with your friends and students and subscribe any universe double 2 for more videos and more updates on mechanical engineering topics thanks for watching have a nice day